This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, we're having a really casual Saturday. We are we're going full meme. We're playing happily ever after. So, ugh, happily ever after. People ask me to play this card all the time. This is one of those ridiculous alt win cons that wizards loves to hide in a set it's almost like a a bucket list a magic easter egg and this one says if at the beginning of your upkeep if there are five colors among permanents you control there are six or more card types among permanents you control or in the graveyard and your life total is greater than your starting life total you win the game so a weird alt win con enchantment so in order to make that happen, most people know about this. The the big combo is Plain Wide Celebration, which creates a 2-2 two, two citizen creature token that's all colors. It also gains four life. So this is really a Plain Wide Celebration combo, but I found other ways to work the Plain Wide Celebration into the deck. This deck also runs four copies of Liliana Dreadhorde General and two copies of Garrick Huntsman. Now, in standard right now, these cards are terrible. You just... Like, anything that's six mana is pretty bad in current standard, just because of the format being hyper-push, hyper-aggressive, hyper-OP. And you can talk about whether or not that's a good thing and play design all you want. It's the state of the format. It's the world we live in. So um, this deck in particular wouldn't be competitive there, but I didn't build this for the standard shakeup event. But as soon as I finished building it, I decided to check if it was legal in the event, and it was. So we're going to play this in the standard shakeup event where we're more likely to face other decks that are a little more powered down versions of the powerful standard decks or are off meta. I think that'll make for a more interesting janky video. I'm sure you guys would love to see me meme happily ever after in Diamond or Mythic, but that's not very fun for me because the amount of games you have to lose before you win is usually kind of a painful process. But in the standard shakeup event, everybody's playing these low to the ground creature decks because they have the shells of the decks left over from standard, whether it's blue white flyers, mono white weenie. They still play red aggro, even though I had like seven cards banned. Knights, I see all the time. And those decks, without their kind of OP cards that were banned, are pretty weak against three toughness. There's no lightning strike in this format. So, a Boreal Grazer, Leafkin Druid, Leyline Prowler, those all come down on the battlefield, slow the opponent down, and then you drop a Cavalier of Thorns, and then they're really slowed down. Not many decks have any good answers to Cavalier of Thorns. And then you drop the six mana Planeswalkers, and there's, without Murderous Rider, there's almost no Planes removal at all, or Questing Beast. Like, these six mana Planeswalkers actually get to do stuff. And if you follow the curve, Grazer, Druid, Prowler, Cavalier of Thorns, Planeswalker, with a plane wide celebration, to proliferate Liliana or Garrick, you get to ultimate them really fast, and that's usually game ending on its own. So you don't need the happily ever after combo to win, but it's an option if the game drags out and if that particular draw with the Planeswalkers doesn't line up. Cavalier of Thorns helps stitch it together. Pulsar Marasa getting back Cavalier of Thorns helps stitch it together. Pulsar Marasa also often gets land with this deck. You just end up getting Fable Passage to keep your mana going. The life is very important, there's also a play where the happily ever after trigger goes on the stack on the end step or on, at the beginning of your upkeep. You might not have enough life to win the game and you can pull some Marasa in response to the trigger and then you have enough life and you win the game. Glass Casket is an artifact. That's the main reason it's in the deck instead of something else, which helps make sure that happily ever after goes off. The other reason for Pulsar Marasa is it's an instant. There aren't any other instants in the deck. Helps makes happily ever after go off. So. Um, that's this weird, wacky, you might call it a work of art, you might call it an abomination, I don't know what it is, but it's very fun, and we're going to go play it in the standard shakeup event, so enjoy the video, it's casual Saturday, I feel good, I'm healthy, I'm happy, I just want to play some silly magic, so let's do it, let's dive in, this nonsense is about to begin. Alpha Finks, that's an easy one. No ramp cards. You have this six life mana that develops. We can draw cards with the castle. If we're up against a control deck, it's a fine hand. If we're up against an aggro deck, it's way too slow. But you really have nothing to lose in these queues. So 
You may as well go for it. See what happens. Island. Ginger frickin' brute. Okay, well, I guess we're going to play against pure un untapped, unstoppable aggression in the form of the brute of ginger. Here comes the brute, down to 18. Play something menacing like an inquisitive puppet, sure, why not? Scry the bottom, yes. All right, let's get a green source. Unfortunately, we have to shock here. The glass casket's good. This is definitely a deck that's probably going to play the... What is it? Overseer? Steel Overseer. That will have to be thrown in a box. But I'm guessing that they also play the Venerated Loxodon, which is already ready to come down and create an absurd battlefield on turn three on the play. Well, maybe not. Maybe the opponent's just going to keep being a brood about it. That's it? I like it. I can I can get behind this. So what are the plays? Could stuff the ginger brute in a box. I find that funny enough to want to do it. Don't think I need to pulse a fabled passage just yet. Give me that. Give me that. Mine. Yeah. It's fine. Can't be blocked. Got it. I think the opponent was trying to sacrifice it to gain life, but you can't. It has to tap to sacrifice to gain life, which is why nothing happened. There's the Overseer. Maybe they were slow rolling it around removal. Doesn't matter, we have more. Give me that. And pass it on back. Get ready to pulse. Might as well gain that six life. You need a lot of life. Mystic Forge. Now the opponent can start going through their deck and playing multiple cards a turn, which is probably going to be very exciting for them. We are ready for Planeswalker Power. There's Happily Ever After. All right. Let's start by getting a green. We're surprisingly low on green sources with this hand. Green is by far the most popular color in the deck and in the mana base, so that hand is kind of weird to see. What do you think? Do we want to wolf it up? I think we want to wolf it up, because the next turn we can Liliana minus four ultimate Garrick. And it looks like we're on the Planeswalker plan unless the opponent figures out how to beat it. We are the apex predator. Woof woof. Opponent finds a serpent. Okay. That's something. They're not going to like what's about to happen, though. This is good. So let's shock for this land. Let's play this grazer. That way we have things to sacrifice for our wool. It, it's it's a good sacrifice for Garrick, is, for Liliana, is what I'm trying to say. Um, Yeah, this is fine. Sacrifice two creatures. We want to sacrifice the one wolf, one grazer, and then we ultimate the Garrick. I, we could sacrifice two wolves and ultimate the Garrick and keep it. I guess that's pretty great too. But the opponent folding to the Planeswalker plan. Michael Daniels. That is a very straightforward name to say and pronounce. So no fabled passage for the Pulse of Marasa. The Leafkin Druid could die. We do have some ramp, some life gain. Yeah, we'll try it. It's not a very exciting hand. We're still missing white mana. Temple of Silence to the top. Another pulse is not what you need to see there. But we'll see. Can be helpful. Esper Control. 
This might be a short game. Hmm. The opponent has something that targets creatures, but they didn't want to play it on the druid. wonder what it is. Let's go for a prowler. We are go for prowler. Prowler is a go. Tyrant Scorn. Okay, the opponent is only interested in killing things with power. They're not interested in killing the druid. They check my graveyard. Yeah, it's the only card you put there. <laughs> you got, you're, you're okay. It's going to be okay. Um, <laughs> we'll get through this together. <laughs> oh, man. Magic never ceases to amaze me. Now they're stalling on mana. How about six life and my Prowler back? What do you think of that? Is that good? That's good. Opponent says I needed more targets anyway. Here it is. Yeah, baby. Mortify that thing. This must be like a Hero of Precinct 1 all removal deck. Oath of Gaia, okay. Oh yeah, all removal all day. Give me that back. Everybody play the game. I think you'll enjoy my happily ever after shenanigans opponent. Here comes the spooky prowlers. If you take out these, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to throw a plain wide celebration and get them back anyway. Okay, tap land. Do you think we celebrate just for the tutus? Anyway, attack. The opponent's a little off on Kai's Wrath, and we know they're missing land drops. This doesn't cast Kai's Wrath. I don't know if they play counter spells. Let's find out. Get them. Go! Go get them, babies. Yeah, we're throwing a party. No! <laughs> Insert Bolus meme. All right, we'll play you. We'll hold on to the glass casket because there's probably a hero somewhere. But we'll draw some extra cards now with this castle. And keep clocking them. 36 freaking life. And an opponent who's just being pretty anemic over there. Happily ever after. Let's see what we draw before we commit our prowlers to other duties. They might need be needed for mana. Planeswalkers should be pretty good from this spot against this opponent. Watch them Dovin's veto happily ever after. We both draw cards. It's delightful. I knew it! I knew it! What? You have nothing but hate in your heart, Esper Mage. You need to learn to love and embrace the happily ever after. Suck it. O3 Grazer Punch. This weird doggy. So lame. Just doesn't do anything. It's like, it's like the lamest pet. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So stupid. Anyway, pull some Rasa. Prowl them. Just keep prowling them. Uh, why not? The opponent seems to be having enough trouble dealing with this. I know they're probably a land or two away from just taking over the game, but for now, just torturing them feels great. I know I'm as likely to play this deck as anybody else, so... I don't I, I I can't be too judgmental about it. It's just it just cracks me up. Dovin's veto on happily ever after. You serious, bro? Hello. So what do you think? Another veto? Probably. Let's see if we can loosen them up with another prowler attack. Drown in the lock. 
<laughs> what a pile of hate. What a pile of hate. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Apparently, Leyline Prowler being immune to Cry of the Canarium is a big deal. Now the opponent's going to scorn that. Sure. Sure. Why not? Um, might need this. It's not like the life is too important. They probably don't even play Hero Precinct 1, now that I think about it. Yeah. How many answers you got? Whoa! Resolves? You don't say. You don't say. The Elder Spell! Yes! Of course you play the Elder Spell too. Alright. Bring the Wolf Beats. Rah, rah. Yeah, point that removal. Do you think the opponent runs like 20 lands <laughs> and like a million removal spells? <laughs> it's like, how? why should I play land if I have removal? Hello, Lily. Each player gains five life. Ha! <laughs> I forgot that for a second. I'm not used to being the beatdown. I'm very confused right now. Okay. This glass casket's going to have a use. Oh my god, it's Garrick! And we still have a wolf. Pog. Okay. Let's tap like a careful magic player. Uh, I should have glass casketed the opponents first. I got too excited. Pump it. We are relentless. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a threat, baby. I guess the opponent can minus their lily, but I get to draw two cards, so I'm fine with that. So yeah, we'll put the pressure back on the life total. Oh, the doggy's upset now. The doggy's upset. Get out of my way. Pile up the cards. Oh, Grazer beatdowns. Grazer beatdowns are coming for you. Yes, they are. I'll actually put this out tapped because we might draw another land off the castle. <laughs> the board is so threatening now. They're just so threatening. It's awesome. Told you we'd draw another land. Should have tapped careful to have another castle available though. It's fine. We're just playing for funsies. We're just playing for memes. We're just playing for three, six grazers in our life. The opponent smartly used the return target creature to owner's hand ability on Scorn because that doesn't trigger the Liliana. This does, though, drown in the lock. 28 cards to go. What a... Why? Why wouldn't you just make the zombie after? Okay, I guess we're both memeing hard. We can't judge each other anymore. We're both out of control. Actually, can I do the celebration and set up the lethal? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I can. Why not? Too bad I don't have another creature to sacrifice. So, blows this up. We pick the plane wide celebration. Resolve. Take the action. Puts it on top of the deck. We draw with Liliana. 
Or no, Liliana's not on the battlefield anymore. I goofed. I'm bad at magic. What? Oh, but we got the veto out of them. Okay. All right. Could be worse. Oh, I could have also just drawn it with castle, but then it would have been vetoed. This is could actually might work out better. Good health is easy to find in war. A million ways I could have played this game differently. <laughs> it's fine. Um, return a permanent. Return a permanent, make a creature, make a creature. Get back you and you. Sets up the kill with happily ever after. All boxes checked, the opponent will have to do something. In the meantime, I guess we can slam Garrick. Keep making life hard. And a Leafkin Druid, because why not? The opponent might wrath the board or do something obnoxious. Let's find out. Two creatures. I pick the wolves. Let's pump the Garrick. Maybe we can second emblem. All right, they have to kill these. They have to kill the five color citizens. Or happily ever after takes the cake. Yes. <laughs> what a comedy of jank errors that was Callo Hi kitty. Oh, you mean kitty. What is the sound? All right. This is pretty solid actually. What we're trying to do. Hey, I didn't even have to pay life for that one. Behold, the beautiful animations. Oh, animation's done. Grazer nullified. So, white, white, tithe taker. Yep. Did you know that no cards from white aggro got banned? That means we should play white aggro, right? Yep, that's what people do. This deck is ready for that. There's a lot of stuff white aggro is going to have trouble getting through. Ancestral Blade. Makes a 1-1. One, one. Now you're going to suit this up so you can attack. That's fine. No? Too scared to attack? Alright, I understand. It's a very threatening board. I think we can go get another black source in case of uh, we find Castle Lockwain or Liliana. And we'll drop a Cavalier of Thorns. And... I think the Tomb is fine. Liliana in the grave. What else you got? Yes. Yes, that is... That is how you aggro. Yes. Ravnical. I like that name. Ravnical. Graze, Prowl, Pulse, Passage. Why not? Sacred Boundary tapped. What do you suppose? Guess we'll put out the... Hmm. No, we're going to play Prowler next turn. We don't need to Pulse a Passage next turn. There's no world where that happens. It's Prowler all the way. Rose Challenger. All right. My three toughness wall is ready for you. My early game of three toughness has really worked out in this format. It's kind of amazing how hard it is for people to get through it. The, only, the real downside of the deck, of course, is when you just don't draw the late game or don't draw the mana. It's a three-color deck with very expensive cards. There's a lot that can go wrong for your draw. But when you have your early Prowler Grazer, the aggro deck is just like, what the hell do I do with myself? I can't... I, my whole plan was to attack you till you're dead, and I can't do any of that. 
it's kind of a it's it's pretty funny. All right, let's use the passage. Go get the white source. Let's play out the druid, and then we have Pulse of Marasa to get back the passage if we like. But the walls, the wall of three toughness. What you got? The opponent can pump the challenger. They can mentor the apparition. Okay, they've got an Aurelia. Aurelia's not a nobody. What you gonna do, Aurelia? Gonna Aurelia. All right. So we have blocks. We can just put this over here. And put this right here, and that's a trade. And how do we do this? I'm trying to think, can I pulse back the Prowler by floating mana right before it would die? I don't think that works that way. I think once the damage is dealt, the mana is clear. Like, because if I add like this mana, like this, right? And I hit pass, yeah, the mana clears. So I knew that wouldn't work, but what can I say? I want to try things. Have you met Lily? Let's wipe the board and draw some cards. Wow. Mana. How exciting. Let's hope our opponent doesn't have a haste creature for the Lily. And that almost kills her. And a giant killer. Okay. So Pulsa Marasa can get back... We can get an Arboreal Grazer just to have a blocker. We'd also get a Leyline Prowler, which is the best card. If we get the Grazer, though, it doesn't come in untapped, though. I was going to say we could also play Happily Ever After this turn. So we may as well get the Prowler. And there we go. More bodies in the way. And if they die, we get to draw. Plain wide celebration looking juicier and juicier with Liliana around and plenty of mana. Opponent can tap the Prowler with the Giant Killer and send the Legion War Boss. But it trades with the zombie. If they have one more removal spell, they're in a pretty good spot. Okay. Mentor. Giant killer taps the prowler, yes. So this will get Lily off the field. Hopefully we get this trade for the war boss, which is their best threat. And we get the card. Ooh, land. Lucky me. I'm so glad we have some land. Happily ever after. Looking for plain wide celebration. Glass casket. Could have used that a turn ago. But it's still good to have here. We'll pay the two life. And we'll get rid of this giant killer so that our prowler can contest the board. Otherwise, the giant killer just keeps tapping the prowler. Our opponent still has a bunch of cards in their hand, and that's not going to change anytime soon with Chandra. Chandra is a card advantage machine. I was counting on these cards left over to be pretty weak, considering the opponent had trouble removing Liliana, but when you have Chandra, hard to call it weak. Let's play out the druid and use the castle and try to start drawing into some more juice. It's not happening, though. The opponent would double block this, I'm sure. So attacking here doesn't make a lot of sense. No problem. Fire can't solve. We're probably going to lose to this Chandra. I would have to find a really good way to pressure it. Like, Garrick and a plain wide celebration would have to show up pretty quickly. Well, it helps us empty the hand a little. We're going to take a lot of Castle Lock Lane damage. Pulse of 
Pulse. I guess Pulse can get back the Prowler. Because we don't have a Cavalier of Thorns. Hmm. Okay. Not worried about your Chandra ultimating, huh? Perfectly happy with the card advantage. I can... I, I guess I get it. I can understand. Yeah, I, it's very bad for me. The running conversations I have with Chandra. This is going to be bad for you. I, I know. So You don't have to taunt me. So mean. You're like the girls in my high school. Hey, uh, I just want to talk to you for a minute. This is going to be bad for you. Yeah, I know. I knew. I knew going into it. I knew. What's in your hand? Did it just land? Are you afraid of a board? Are you afraid of a sweeper? Kind of curious. Maybe there's some kind of a pump effect here. Let's see what you got. Down to 23. Flame sweep. Each creature, except for creatures you control with flying. Okay. I guess the walls demanded attention. <laughs> oh my goodness. And another giant killer. Still nothing here I really want to pulse. We'll draw. Can't get enough of your land. <laughs> oh god all right Let's keep trying to pressure the chandra before the giant killer takes over yep gain two take two let's each gain five though that's fun oh my lord this game is trolling me big time seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13, 14, 15 land. Bringing it. Justice Strike. Thanks for the two life. Nope. So we're almost halfway through the deck. One Liliana, no Garrix. No Plain White Celebration, no Cavalier of Thorns. One glass casket. Certainly could have used more of that. Careful. Careful what you wish for, CGB. So what do you think? Do we get take out the challenger? Yeah, it's the most power and toughness right now, and it's a mana sink. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Yeah. Might as well. Get me back a prowly. Can't be sure we're going to draw something good. We've learned this lesson. So let's empty the hand. Treasure every life point. We already played our land for the turn. We may as well wait to draw. It's not like we're going to use it this turn anyway. It's slow rolling ourselves. Are we on? Yeah, if we draw a plain wide celebration, the opponent will have to remove the tokens or we win. So there's some good draws available to us. Our opponent's also hitting land just fine. They're up to nine. They got nothing on me, though. But this uh, this game, whatever happens, you, you see why we need castles in the deck. This hand, this deck does slam its hand out pretty quickly if it's not holding on to cards like Plain Wide Celebration, and you've got to be able to draw through it. Hopefully not to this extent, but we wouldn't have a chance in this game without the castles. And you gain enough life that you can usually keep drawing no matter how many cards are in your hand. For the love of God. 
All right, let's see if the opponent wants to tap this Prowler. They do. They, they very much want to, yes. All right, um, I should have just tapped it for mana before then. But I guess we can use it now. Yeah, I should have just tapped it for mana before combat. I was just hoping that they wouldn't uh, wouldn't make that play for whatever reason. Maybe be afraid of something else. All right. We've got our three toughness defenders online. Three toughness, no power. OP. Uh, Scorching Dragonfire. That gets rid of one Prowler. Chandra's on six now. Half the deck gone. Hushbringer. Do I care? It it messes up the triggers of the Planeswalkers. The death triggers of Liliana and Garrick. That's a problem. Block it. Never stop grazing, kids. Always. No matter what, just do it. Follow your dreams. All right. How about now? Are we ready to draw the sauce? I mean, that's a good card. Like I said, though, the Hushbringer messes it up. Uh, also messes up Cavalier of Thorns. But we drew some stuff. We could start sacrificing creatures, but we won't draw from them as long as Hushbringer's on the battlefield. So I think better to make zombies and try to pressure the Chandra. We've got to get to her. The ultimate would most likely be lethal. Like a fun new toy. I guess I do have a mana outlet there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can still use a castle if I tap right. When the opponent goes to tap my Prowler, if they go to tap my Prowler. Once they see this Cavalier, they may change their mind. Actually, we got this. Hush brought. So, does the opponent tap the Prowler? Okay. Not afraid of Cavalier just yet. I didn't put the mana into my castle like I planned to, like a like a like a scrub. It's fine. It's gonna be bad for you. Super casual Saturday. I think you could make an epic list, a spreadsheet of my misplays. All right, Chandra's on seven. We have to get to Chandra now. Another hawk. Right now we have three creatures with power. Liliana can make you sacrifice two. Yeah, the opponent doing the same math, I'm sure. Glass Casket would be nice. Uh, we can ultimate Liliana if we find the Celebration. <sighs> what is going on? Keep it coming. Come on, let's go. What do you do? You can take out one of those creatures. You can take out the Hushbringer. All right. You're telling me there's a chance. Kill it. Kill it. Okay. Now we minus sacrifice two creatures. The death benefits back on. When it wants to tap the cavalier, what can we get back? What kind of mana do we have? Five. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I should sacrifice the cavalier. I think I have to. I can just get the pulse after all.
I have the castle Garenbrig to push it to six, but I don't have another cavalier to fetch. All right, so let's grab the pulse of Marasa. Right. And hey, another cav. All right, and we have two attackers. This is on seven. All right. All right, we're okay. Fortunately, I can't play the cav this turn. Prowler is on get keep Chandra from killing me duty. Yep. Whatever. Say bye to Liliana. We have another card draw. We can wait on it. Hear the, hear the wind. Like, what is the wind from? Is that the Cavalier of Thorns trigger? These Cavalier triggers just don't know how to stop making noise. All right, I can't believe the, our opponent has had a Chandra this long and we're still in the game. They're catching up with us on land. They, they flooded out brutally as well. They're up to 11 here. We're both going to see if we can go empty deck. They have 30, I have 22. Bye, Garrick. It was nice having you around for a second. You showed up in the nick of time. I'm telling you, plain wide celebration. It's in the deck somewhere. I'll prove it. If they give me enough time, I will prove it. Maybe I'll prove it. I'm sure I'll find one more creature to play somehow. What do we got? There's a Liliana and a Garrick. Of course. I don't even know if I have any more basics in the deck. Got to be a little careful. Still happy. Plain wide celebration, anyone? 14 cards in deck? We got it! We got the celebration. We're having a party. You're all invited. You're on four, so we're not in a lot of danger there. So we will... Create citizen, create citizen, return a permanent, return a permanent. You, you, come on back, tag team. And the opponent will have to kill both two twos, or the happily ever after will kill them. And who else wants to come down this turn? We can tap our leyline prowlers and do something. I guess wolves are fun. Who doesn't like wolves? Everybody likes wolves. Our life total is not high enough. Oh, but can I respond to the trigger? At the beginning of your upkeep. I can't. Crap. Okay. <laughs> you have to have, um, what is it? If you upkeep, if there are five colors, there are six... And your life total is greater than your equalers. Oh, oh, it is greater. It is greater. We're okay. We just have to keep from taking four damage. No problem, right? All right, my zombie is tapped. Giant killer, my calf. So rude. Let's get back to plain white celebration. So one, two damage in the air. Justice strike. That's one token dead. <laughs> okay. It has death touch, so when the prowler deals damage to itself, it does kill itself even though its toughness is higher than its power. But that's probably not the Justice Strike target. Don't know if the opponent knows that all the conditions for Happily Ever After are met. 
They need to kill both of the tokens and get me below 20. Come meet my grizzly bears. Yeah, I don't think they know Happily Ever After is about to end the game. Rawr. So, is it my turn, or... Your 46 heals ain't gonna help you. What's it gonna be? Another Chandra. That doesn't trigger the Chandra's passive ability. Gideon? Okay. Uh, yep, those, that's all your cards. Which happily ever after would we, would we like to trigger to win the game? The good news is if we did need to gain life here, we could instant speed Pulsa in response to it. Pulsa. Game. Ah. Oh, the jank. It flows so strongly. Seems like a good place to call it for this particular video. I hope that you enjoyed the happily ever after casual Saturday shenanigans. I'm not going to beat myself up too much for playing pretty badly. <laughs> when I, I can't like, I can't get into the zone, you know, I can't get the killer instinct out when I'm playing happily ever after. It's too happy. So uh, I wish you all a happy Saturday. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.